16. I ended up getting my favorite horse that summer. I didn't know that at the time, but we went on a 30 mile pack trip where we didn't have any vehicles or anyone meeting us. And that, that set my passion up for the rest of my life. <laughs> I love pack and, and the hardest part about a pack trip is coming home. Maybe by after four months, I'm, <laughs> I might be ready by then. Another thing about this trip is that it's like in the middle of a transition in my life and and that's like I feel like I do need some time to think about things and just like consider my life so far and figure out what I want to achieve while I'm here. Going through the struggles in life of, of taking care of the horses and the drought that we had here in Utah for the last couple of years and buying hay and everything and and our we we struggled with our water rights because we was getting them from an outside source and and because of the drought we was unable to raise hay and stuff like that so we were looking for a place that would sustain us a lot better and once we finally decided to you know that, that we was going to move to Colorado then uh, yeah, that's when I received a, a text from Lacey at work and I remember her saying, well, why don't, since we're moving and we're selling our house anyway and we're going to be jobless, and why don't we take the homeless. time, <laughs> take the time and, and go on a pack trip and ride from here to there. And I was thinking, yeah, right. And it took me, it did, it took me a whole six <laughs> minutes to to finally realize, why not? Why the heck not? Clara was remembering that we got bored in January, or maybe it was sooner in November, December. It was cold, so we decided to watch Unbranded, right? Yeah. We got to thinking about it, um, like what it would be like to go on a trip like that. When we first came up with the idea to take this ride, I uh, went ahead and contacted the Long Riders Guild. I knew we were gonna be riding more than a thousand miles and I wanted to nominate our journey for us to be members of the Long Riders Guild when we completed our journey. In response to that, the Long Riders Guild, a lot of really valuable things. The first off is that we have access to the Equestrian Encyclopedia. The second thing that was provided to us by the Long Riders Guild is that we were provided with a mentor. Yeah, our mentor is Felipe, which he has rode all the way from the tip of North America to the tip of South America. The whole North American continent and the, clear to the tip of the South American continent, which is over 25,000 kilometers. to carry the Long Riders Guild flag. We only give the Guild flags to people that are doing something important or something like that means a lot to them that is valuable to the Long Riders Guild in the world right now. And since Felipe started um, his journey with doing climate change research and that and because that we're we're choosing to continue that research on the climate. The flag is being passed down on to us, and it's the same flag that Felipe did use. What an honor to do that. That <laughs> flag has gone many, many miles, and we'll, we'll carry it a few more. It obviously means a lot to me. <laughs> so. It means a lot to all of us, yes. <laughs> Very touching. that there is a public concern when someone takes a ride like this. People are going to want to know how we're doing this. And we have a set of ethics. There's four ethics. They're straight out of the Long Riders Guild. The first ethic is that we will always be putting our horses first. We put the welfare of our horses above everything else. 
including our journey, including ourselves, anything else that happens. So we want to be educational. We want people to understand how to prepare a horse for any kind of trip. So we'll be covering topics um, pertaining to our horses, such as we have a professional saddle fitter. The other thing we have to cross state lines is we must get health certificates on our horses. So we'll be meeting with our vet. So um, I've always shot our horses um, for many years. Um, this trip, we brought in a professional to get a different perspective on it. We'll, we'll keep you updated on everything we do, just so that you, you know that you know we're doing everything we can to make sure that these horses are taken care of and, and, and they're ready to go. So the second rule or ethic we're gonna be following is that we will be properly prepared and equipped to take this ride. That just includes anything from our physical fitness to the equipment we're taking, to the food we're packing, to our support crew out there. So we'll have videos on the resupplies I'll be packing, that we'll be packing. We've really um, researched a lot with the backpackers and stuff to do lightweight things. We, we normally take our normal gear, but this is a little bit different. We're gonna make sure that we are definitely prepared to go that long distance. Another thing is we will be consulting with Felipe and other long riders. We're gonna stick with the advice of the people that's actually done it, the trials and errors that they've faced. Preserving the public's trust is one of the biggest topics for us because we wanna show how to do this ethically in a, in a way that um, will preserve the art of equestrian travel for years and, and centuries to come. We love sharing our experience with people. We love taking people. We love um, teaching people. And so, yeah, we are all about um, those long riders that want to do it in the future. We've been teaching people to pack for years and have had a lot of fun doing that. So we have four months to produce videos and we are open to discussing anything you want to know and put it out here on YouTube. We also have an Instagram account, we have a TikTok account, and we have a Facebook page for this trip. Look, there's three of us so we're hoping we have enough energy <laughs> along our ride to share this with you. A lot of people said we're going to be exhausted by the energy end of the day. and service. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, yeah, we'll be in the backcountry a lot, but every time we get service, we'll be posting something for you guys. Join us on our ride. Be part of it. Tell us what would work for you guys. What Live you vicarious through us. We would love.